What is going on YouTube? It is all Gavin and I am back today with a tutorial video for Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lord. Today I'm going to be showing you two different ways on how to make unlimited money. One way is going to be using Cheat Engine 7.0, which you can download following the link below. And the other way is going to be legitly. Um, now the legit way is going to take longer from the start. It's more of like uh, once you have a lease clan 2 tier unlocked however this first way you can do to get started if you really want to jump start your process so basically you're going to want to go to a village and then go to buy products and then open up cheat engine Click allow, make sure it's all good to go with permissions. Alright, go to the process list, click Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lord. Type in the value of how much money you have. I currently have 1000 because I just started a new game. Alright, it's going to find all that. Now, buy something. So, just took 28. Go back to buy products. 972. Alright, and then you're going to want to double click the very top value, which is going to put it into this process list, right? Then you're going to want to double click on the number value and then change it to whatever you want. So I'm going to do 80,000. You're going to want to click OK. And then go back into game and as you see there's 80k it's spendable money you know you can get you can just buy all this if you want to you can recruit all the troops so as you just see i spent three grand and all i started with was 1000 so that's one way now the other way which I might be now i'm back now this way in this beginning you will die a lot you will get captured a lot it doesn't sound like the best thing to do However, it is an easy way to make a lot of money fast, and I'm going to show you right here. So I wanted to show you guys the cheat engine way first, because that's quick. So if you're looking for a quick way to make money, go do that one. If you want to look for a legit way to make money, that way you don't feel guilty conscious or anything like I did. I did this. This is the way I found out on my own, which I'm sure most people do. Attack! is literally just attack every looter thing you see every uh, every caravan like the caravans are gonna be more difficult things in the beginning uh, <laughs> it's kind of dark man, but anyway the caravans are good to raid. Uh, towns, whatever, whoever your enemies with, just do go over to their territory and just stay in their territory. Raid villages, uh, force them to give you recruits. That's always the first hostile action I take after I recruit the community because they're not in battle, so why not get as many troops as possible? And then force them to give you recruits, and after that, you're gonna want to raid the village fully but escape if there's an army coming so you don't sit there and just die right so basically this is how you do it you take all the prisoners there wasn't a whole lot there you take all the loot every single time and I'm going to just run around for a second and see if I are we enemies with anyone right now? No, we're not. So I can't really demonstrate the whole caravan thing or the town. But I just demonstrated there. All right, let's see. Forest bandits. They probably have a decent amount of stuff. I'm telling you, one time I got $60,000 for after for about 40 minutes of just attacking straight caravans and uh, looters. And bandits, and just taking all the prisoners. 
like I'm talking like overdoing your prisoner limit because as soon as you're overfilled capacity you slowly walk your ass over to a city and you sell all your prisoners I just got annihilated, but this guy's alive. That's alright. Speed it up. You can have a good enough troop to so not mind losing a few more than you get to just walk the battle yourself and just send troops in. Because I usually die every battle for some reason, but take all 11 prisoners, take all the loot. Alright. And then let's see. Some more forest bandits. Oh, but there's a bigger party of looters, so we're gonna go after the looters. Maybe I can get them both. A bunch of them, maybe? Yeah, alright, I got two packs of them now. So now, after this, I'll bring it over to a city and show you guys exactly how much you can make. I might even have some leftover loot. So this one, I'm just gonna send troops. Nine wounded, not big deal. Ten more prisoners. Also, this is good for ranking up your troops fast in the beginning. City right here. First, you're gonna want to go to the tavern district, ransom your prisoners. So six hundred and five dollars. Okay. Now we're gonna go to trade, and then just throw literally everything you've taken. Besides these, I usually keep all horses and whatnot because it makes you run faster on the map. And anything you can't eat in there. But as you see, just from that, just from what you just saw, is $12,000. So, I mean, if that's not an easy way, legit way to make fast money, because you don't. I mean, honestly, I've had like 140k and I haven't gone under 140k like all day. So. I don't use money like that, and I have an army constantly, and I'm fighting in wars. But this is an easy way to make legit money, especially if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing in the game, and you're just not being stupid, trying to kill everyone at once. Then easy way to make money fast and grow with progress. It's what I did, and I've been playing since the release came out, and I'm already at the point where I'm the most powerful person in the Western Empire. So it works. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Drop a like. Comment down below if you have any questions or need help with anything. And turn on the notification, that bell thing. So that way you get notifications. So I'm going to say hit the bell. So it turns on notifications. So you get notifications when I drop a new video. I upload every day at 12 p.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone. Take care.